Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Uh, welcome to my uh, videos. It's the home of the five minute or less video. Um, I've worked at IRS for a decade. I've worked over about 10,000 cases. Yeah, that many. I've been in private practice for four decades. Um, I'm a national expert in any IRS resolution matter. I have a whole team of former IRS agents on staff. Uh, you can go to my website, 777irs.com. You can see all my national TV interviews. I am on TV. You may have found me on TV, a matter of fact. And you can look at my whole team. We specialize in IRS matters. I don't need a, a fancy suit, and I don't need a, a nice backdrop in an office and look all professional with the tie, all my information is up here after 50 years so today i want to show oh by the way i do these videos for three reasons so a uh, you don't get scammed by other people i started this youtube station um when my son says hey dad you ought to do this um he says there's a lot of people on here who don't seem to know what they're doing and i try to give you inside information from an irs perspective after working for irs for a decade and outside irs i kind of know the whole drift of everything and i sum up videos i like to educate you today is an education day for you within five minutes i'm going to tell you how let me just make sure i have the exact wording the only ways that you can pay less than you owe with Internal Revenue Service. There's very specific ways. There's not a lot of them. There's a lot of people advertising on Facebook, on Instagram, and 95% uh, of all those ads that you see are pure garbage, and they're really not the truth, I, I should know. Um, let me tell you what they are. By the way, as a former uh, revenue officer, I, I taught the tax debt settlement or the offer and compromise program. I used to accept offers and I used to deny offer and compromise. So you know the scope of all the information, all the, the cases that I've worked. So let me tell you the only way that you're going to pay less, and there are no other ways. So if anyone comes and says this and you see an ad on Facebook or Instagram and this, let me tell you what they they are remember 50 years a you can try to abate penalties and interest probably just going to abate the penalty the interest goes down if the penalty is abated you can go to my website at 777irs.com i got a penalty abatement section on there you've got to go ahead and write your affidavit like i go ahead and i shaped on there for you and there's reasons you can use irs does not accept a one-page abatement letter self-serving they want to see your letter they want to see documentation and they want a solid reason if you were sick and in the hospital they want to see that you were in the hospital a doctor's note or a bill irs is not going to accept any less than full documentation one of the big misnomers out there is this this so-called this magic wand that uh, irs will abate penalties and interest it's simply 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 not the case it's irs just in fact does not do that say hi to my dog who's walking in the background that shouldn't be walking in the background but's walking in the background so that's number one. Number two, you can do that through the offer and compromise where IRS looks at your case and determine that they can go ahead and settle the debt through the offer and compromise. I taught the offer and compromise program. Don't be fooled by a bunch of people out there on the internet, on, uh, on all these ads that says we can settle, we can settle. You call them and all of a sudden they said, you know, pay us a bunch of money, we can settle. Let me just tell you about that if you're not giving the IRS financial statement to the person who is going to actually work your case which has to be an attorney a CPA or enrolled agent former IRS agent okay they don't know what they're talking about you're speaking to a salesman do not get ripped off about half the calls I get are people who have been ripped off uh, you can go ahead and file a bankruptcy proceeding, a Chapter 7. A uh, Chapter 7 bankruptcy can discharge your debt for 
Uh, they can discharge your debt if the taxes are three years or older, been filed for two years, and assessed for 240 days. That's the other way to go ahead. And the last way to go ahead and do this is if the statute of limitations expired. So there's four ways. The statute of limitations is 10 years from the date of the access assessment. You'd have to pull an IRS transcript. You'd have to value your look at your transcripts, do an evaluation, and see if the 10 years is over. Things do extend the statute, like a collection due process, an offer and compromise, litigation, things can extend it. But if you pull an IRS transcript, you can find out. So those are the ways that you, the only ways you're going to reduce your tax debt. Don't don't ask anyone else or find out anyone else because they're lying to you. So you got the abatement of the penalty, the offer and compromise. Those are really the main two. The statute's the good one because everything is over and then your abatement of penalties and interest. If you have any questions, uh, you're welcome to go ahead and call me. But those are the ways. Don't believe anyone else. If this information was good to you, please leave me a subscription. But at least you've learned the truth today. Um, you can leave a comment, uh, but like I said, I appreciate the subscription. We have a whole team of former IRS agents. If you think you want to qualify for one of those, we'll give you a free consultation. Thank you so much for listening.